Uh, welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm Coach Evans with the Tidy Films, and today we are bringing you our number eight most influential rate. Uh, as you can see, I'm not at my normal rig, but you'll be getting the middle part of this uh, countdown from this situation here. So um, just bear with me, and we'll be back to the normal uh, intro and background and all that good stuff um, probably later on in the countdown. Uh, quick recap, number 10 on our list was uh, Jimmy Smith. Number 10, Jimmy Smith. Number 9 was uh, Rashad Bateman, the rookie coming in. Number 8 on this list, and again, because um, NFL Network is doing some kind of maintenance, I don't have the ability to have those um, highlights playing in the background from this player, but it's just a matter of BK. Reason being, it's just a matter of BK, because look at the end of the year he had last year. Well, his total stats, he ended up with um, one sack uh, and 19 total tackles, uh, two tackles for loss, two QB hits. Um, most of that came in the last, I'm going to say, three, maybe four to five weeks. And the reason he's in this list of most influential people, mainly because of the production he had at the end of the year and youth. So if you look at all the guys up front, let me see if I can, can kind of talk about the defensive line for a second. You got um, people that matter, put it like that. Matter BK, 23. Calais, 34. Wolf, 31. Um, Brandon Williams, 32. Uh, just Juicy Ellis, 30. Matter BK is 23 years old. And with the production he did toward the end of the year, if he can build on that, this guy will be the, the guy that when we get edge rush, which I think we're going to get edge rush this year, he'll be there to push the middle so guys can't escape. And he also can stop the run. So he's one of those few combo defensive tackles that can pass rush and stop the run. Even though he didn't have a great year, but just look at once he started to figure out the NFL game, what he did toward the end of the year. And I remember doing a film on some – it was it started out on somebody else. But Matabike made so many plays when I looked at the All-22 that I ended up making a film about Matabike himself. But number eight on the list is just a matter of BK. Um, I wish I had that film in the background so I could talk more in depth about him. But just go back and look at the, the season he had those last four to five games, and he became a force in the limited amount of snaps he got because his snaps were as limited because with him being a rookie, he had to get those vets in there. But um, I think he won't be held back this year. I think he'll be in the rotation heavy. I think the vets will kind of be the ones that get the limited snaps to try to keep them fresh. Uh, especially with 17 games this year instead of 16. And um, I think he'll put up some decent numbers and be on his way to one of the better 0-1 techs, um, maybe even a 3 tech in, in the league. Uh, quick recap, number 10, Jimmy Smith. Number 9, Rashard Bateman. Number 8, Justin Matt BK. Uh, number 7 will be coming at you soon. I appreciate you guys for turning in, for tuning in, I'm sorry. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And I'm Coach Evans of the Tally Films. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell notification. Because, again, random, random, random. And I'm out.